welcome to lecture number 22 today's class is uh, you know an interesting one and it is very simple one and let me tell you like there will be one definite question from this part in your final exam and it's a free it question so i am sharing my screen welcome to lecture number 22 chapter number 2 time domain representation of lti system this has been the last topic of time domain representation that is the block diagram representation direct form 1 and 2. So before we proceed with uh, this session, let me summarize what we covered in the previous session. In previous session, we could understand about how to derive a complete solution for the given differential or difference equation. And I had given an assignment for you to solve by yourself. And here I am writing the solutions just to cross check from your end. The characteristic equation is written like 1 minus 1 by 4 rs2 minus 1 minus 1 by 8 rs2 minus 2. So it's just like the k value. Here it is uh, 1 minus 1. So write it minus 1 minus 2. My, write it as minus 2. So uh, multiply by r square throughout. So you get some quadratic equation. And find out the roots. You get it as minus 1 by 4, 1, 1 by 2. Homogeneous solution, refer the table. You get the form of the homogeneous solution in this fashion. A particular solution, look at the input, write the form and then solve for it. So you get uh, the was homogeneous solution constant as 2. So homogeneous solution form is 2 of 2 raised to n. Complete solution general form is written by sum of homogeneous as well as particular solution. After supplying the initial conditions that has been given here, you get the final answer. And here one thing you should remember is while supplying the initial conditions, make sure that your input is u of n. It means your y of n exists only for n greater than or equal to 0. So for n greater than or equal to 0, your y of n will be finite value. For value n less than 0, your value of y will be 0. So hence, you cannot directly substitute y of minus 2 as well as y of minus 1. For that, what you are supposed to do is, you need to refer the problem that I have solved in the previous session, last example. You have to substitute y of 0 itself, as well in this general form, as well as in the given equation. So you need to compare or equate both of, both of the things. And wherever you get y of minus 1 as well as y of minus 2, there you need to supply the initial conditions and get the value of y of uh, the constants c1 and c2 and then build the final equation to proceed with the next one just to recap recap the things let me tell you we studied about impulse response that is convolution sum and convolution integral and we also studied about differential and difference equation differential or difference equations representation so in these two things if you want to summarize here in impulse response, there was no provision, no provision for initial conditions, right? And here we had a provision for initial conditions. And you know, impulse response description, it applies only to the system that are initially at rest, initially at rest. So we consider that the initial conditions are zero in impulse responses, but here it is not so. You can have any initial conditions other than rest. That's the meaning of differential equation representation. Now coming to the roots. Roots of equation tells a lot of things for us in difference and differential equation. Actually, it talks about stability of the system. Stability of the system is directly related to roots of the equation. Okay, so these, these things will help you in gate exam, complete exam questions. Okay, so here a natural response that is a homogeneous solution which is uh, whose uh, initial conditions are zero uh, must be bounded if it is bounded then it is bibo stable if natural response or homogeneous solution both mean same is bounded is bounded then your system is stable that is what i wrote this is this is the analysis of roots of equation then in dts in dts and cts in DTS and CTS. So let me just take both at a time. So we know that we get something like this in the homogeneous solution. Okay. So here Ri, here in this case Ri mod of Ri should be less than 1 for all i, then only your system is stable. Then only your system is stable for 
R i equal to one, it is we call it as verge of in. It is at the verge of instability. And for R i greater than one, it is unstable. Because you know that if R i is equal to one, one raised to n, it never you know converges. It is a constant DC. It never converges. R i if it is greater than one, it goes on exponentially growing. If R i is less than one, uh, raised to n means it goes on decreasing. Like one by two raised to square will be one by four. It goes on converges. That's why it is stable. Similarly, if I want to put before you regarding the continuous time signal, we will get something like e raised to R i t. Hope you remember this. So here, your answer should be like that. So your your uh, this e raised to R i t should be converging in order to be stable. So in order to be stable, then what we are supposed to do is this R i should be should be you know um, what I can say is the real part of R i. If it is complex, let me consider R i should be less than zero. Remember that if it is negative e raised to minus t. Then it is decaying. If it is positive, then it is growing. So in this case, it will decay or it will converge. Hence, it is a stable. And if real part of R i is greater than zero, then it is unstable because it is a growing kind. It is unstable. If R i, you know, so this is. Uh, uh, what I can say is, uh, if I want to write a marginable, marginable stable, like verge of instability, if if R i is zero, if I substitute zero here, what do you get? E raised to zero will get you one. One is one will not is not a converging. Hence, we call it as verge of verge of instability. So these things will help you in competitive exams. That's why I took it here. Okay. So this brief idea regarding the previous sessions, we shall start afresh with uh, the third part of the second chapter and the last part of the second chapter, block diagram representation, direct form 1 and direct form 2. Block diagram representation consists of an interconnection of three elementary operations. We are performing three elementary operations. Those are scalar multiplication, addition, integration for continuous time and uh, uh, summation for discrete time. So these these three operations we are performing here diagrammatical um, explanation will help you in understanding it in a better way. So let me directly go to go there. If x of t is an input, if I write a arrow mark and some constant if I write then y of t is nothing but c into x of t it's as good as multiplying. If there is an input y x of t y of t there is a wire and there is some constant put just before the arrow mark then it is like multiplying this constant with the input similarly with the discrete time this is for continuous time this is for discrete time c into x of n this is a fast scalar multiplication now addition will look like this first i consider with the uh, continuous time x of t and w of t are the two continuous time inputs when i sum it when I sum it, it looks the y of t will look like x of t plus w of t. Similarly, x of n, w, w of n, when it is added, like summation, so plus here as well as plus here. If at all, if nothing is written, by default it is plus. If minus is written, you should write it as minus. x of n plus w of n. Now, that is your second one, addition. Third is integration. Integration for CTS and discrete time, it is shift. Sorry, it's not summation, it is shifting. So, x of t is the input. If I have an integration, then you could write it as y of t is equal to integration from minus infinity to till t x of 2 d2. It is, it is the symbolic representation or op operation performed for integration. Now, for discrete time, it is some, it is uh, shifting. For example, x of n, if I write just s here, it is like s raised to 1, as, is, as good as writing s raised to 1. The meaning is shift the input by 1 times onto the right. That's the meaning. Yes, x of n minus 1. If it is minus 1, shift it to the left. That's the meaning. These are the three operations what we can perform onto the system. So for this, we shall take the problems. So this is the first problem. Okay, I can say general form, general form, general problem I can say. So if you understand this general form, rest of the things are very simple. 
Okay. The given question is here. This is a question. Y of n plus a1 into y of n minus 1 plus a2 into y of n minus 2 is equal to b0 x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2. This is a general form of difference equation that I had given you in the previous session. General form. Now here what I do is I do small modifications. Ultimately I need to draw the block diagram for this particular equation. This is a difference, difference equation. For this I need to write a block diagram. There are two types of block diagram. One is direct form 1 and the other is direct form 2. The first part, first part we will look into now. First, what you, what you need to do is y of n, you retain it on the LHS, rest everything, you put it, put it on the right hand side. So, a1 y of n minus 1, a2 y of n minus 2, both goes to the right hand side, it will change the sign. It becomes minus, it becomes minus, this one write it as it is. Now, what I do is, I represent whole of this input samples as w of n and that is what I am writing here. w of n means what? b naught x of n b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2. This whole of the input, the terms with carrying x of n, shifted version or normal version, I write it as w of n. That is what I wrote it. This I write it as equation 1. Very important for me. y of n is equal to, now this one I rewrite it here. y of n is, whole of this I called it as w of n. I write it here. Remaining part, minus a1 y of n minus 1, minus a2 y of n minus 2. This I call it as equation 2. Two equations are there in front of me now. Now what I do is, first equation I consider, first equation I consider. Now what I do is, I write something like system operator like H1, W of n divided by X of n. Okay. So if I want to write it in this manner, like how I had shown it in system interconnections, how do you write this equation? x of n you take common. If you take common of x of n, how do you write? I write it here. x of n if I take common, I write it as what is left here? b0 plus what is left here? b1 but it is not just mere x of n, it is shifted version of x of n. How many times it is shifted? One time shifted on to write. How to write it? You can write it in this fashion. Right? Yes, raised to 1. Similarly, if I want to write this one, b2, s raised to 2, right? Because two times it is shifted on to the right. So, x of n, if I take it on the denominator, w of n is numerator, x of n, if it is denominator taken, what is left? This one is left. That is what is h1, system operator. So, b1, sorry, b0 plus b1, s plus b2, s square. This equation, I got it from equation 1. Now, similarly, if I want to write equation 2, how do I write? H2 is nothing but y of n is a numerator, w of n is a denominator. If I want to write, if I take w of n um, yes, as a common, so what I am supposed to do, do is this whole of the y of n, I need to consider take it on the left hand side. For example, this one. This whole of this is equal to w of n. I will write it here, w of n. So, w of n goes to denominator y of n is in the numerator. So, y of n should be taken out. So, if I write y of n by taking out, what you get? So, here it is 1 plus a1 s plus a2 s2. Right? So, this goes to, so y of n is here, y of n is here, w of n came to denominator, but y of n is attached with this one. So, if when I take it on the other side, I will get it as 1 divided by 1 plus a1 s plus a2 s square. So, we got two systems here. One system, second system. So, you can observe here, in the first system, my input is x of n, output is w of n. In the second system, input is w of n, output is y of n. Let me write it here. It is as good as h1 is a system, input is x of n, output is w of n. In the second case, for H2, input is W of n, output is Y of n. Now, what I do is, it's all together in a single differential equation, right? Difference equation. So, I need to write this as X of n is an input, Y of n is output, right? So, I take the other slide. X of n is an input, 
y of n is the output. So this system consists of two subsystem operators. One is h1, one is h2. This is the output. So here the intermediate is w of n. You can cross check x of n, w of n. So I'll take this h2 here, keep it x of n, y of n. I can consider it's like I'm joining these two things. So I can write it in this fashion. So h of n for your uh, analysis, I take it b0, b0 plus b1, yes, plus b2, yes, square. And h, uh, this is h1. h2 is refer to the previous slide. So here it is. 1 divided by 1 plus a1s plus a2s square, right? So, now I draw the block diagram of direct form 1. Direct form 1, very simple diagram, listen carefully, very easy it is. x of n I write it here, y of n is here I write it here, okay? So, I need to receive the output, I need to feed the input, okay? Now, so input, to feed the input, what I am supposed to do is, here, this system, what, what it does, it does certain modification, that is, x of n equation is, x of n equation, so here, b not x of n, it is as good as b not x of n, I am feeding x of n, it is multiplied by b not, so this becomes, and I, I, I write it as b not just write it as like the scalar multiplication. X of n is multiplied with B0. I got the first term. Second term, if I want to get, I need to shift it by one time. So to shift it, what I have to do? I have to take one shifter here, one time shift. And what you get at the output? You get X of n minus 1 you get. Now for this, what is the constant that should be multiplied? That is B1. So here you got b1 into x of n minus 1. Here you got b0 into x of n. Now here b2 x square, s square means x of n is shifted by two times. So one more time shift operator I needed. I write a shift operator one more time. So first this x of n minus 1 shifted one more time means it will be x of n minus 2. Now what is the constant that should be multiplied to it? It is b2. So all these togetherly I should add. So here I sum it first. So by default it is plus if you don't write anything. So these two things are added. Now I could get x of n minus 1 into b and b2. So it is not b square, it is b2. b2 into x of n minus 2. So these two things again I sum it with b0 x1 x of n. So this will give you what it will give. It will give you w of n. You can concentrate here. w of n means what? b0 x of n b1 x of n minus 1, b2 x of n minus 2, sum of all these three things. So b0 x of n, b1 x of n minus 1, b2 x of n minus 2, togetherly you get w of n. First system is constructed. This is a first block diagram. Very simple. Second block diagram looks like this. Here the equation is quite different See here. Equation is here. y of n plus a1 y of n minus 1 plus a2 y of n minus 2 is equal to w of n. So somewhat in a reverse way. So y of n is shifted now. So this is in the denominator, right? y of n gets shifted. So y of n first time shift will get you yes, will get you y of n minus 1. So y of n, if I shift it one more time, what I get? I get it as y of n minus 2. So y of n equation is written here. You just hear y of n is equal to, I take it, y of n is equal to w of n minus a1 y of n minus 1 minus a1 y of n minus 1 minus a2 y of n minus 2. This is y of n actually. You can see here. a2 y of n minus 2. So this w of n is here. So its amplitude is or its constant is 1. What about y of n minus 1? It is actually minus here. This one you should concentrate. Minus a2. Because I am constructing y of n. The inputs are w of n and the past values of the output itself. This is a past value. First past value, second past value. So it's constant. After adjusting, it becomes minus a1 minus a2. So this one you should be very careful. Okay, minus n minus a2. This is direct form one block diagram representation. So here I have shown uh, the 
diagram this is a this is a textbook diagram i have taken it x of n b naught b1 b2 shift summation similarly with w of n so here it is minus a1 it is a this is minus a2 okay neatly it is put so in direct form 2 we know that it these two systems h1 and h2 are commutative so hence i can as well write it as as well write it as h2 first and then h1 next okay even this should hold good because these two systems lti systems should hold the commutative property that is what we studied in the previous case a system properties analysis now h2 and h1 are reversed h2 i'll write it for your analysis h2 is given by 1 divided by 1 plus a1 s plus a2 s s square and h1 is given by b0 plus b1 s plus b2 s square but h2 for h2 what is the input and output input is x of n that i should write with the denominator output is intermediate that i write it as w of n w of n that i should write it here this is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus a1 s plus a2 s raised to 2 similarly h1 means what h1 is output is y of n so i write it here dotted line y of n divided by input is w of n this is equal to b0 plus b1 s plus b2 s square so i got two different things here if i just take it with us here how it is written so it will multiply get multiplied with w of n x of n comes over here so i write it here w of n plus a1 w of n into s means w of n shifted by one time n minus 1 plus a2 w of n shifted by two times which is equal to if i take it here it is just x of n similarly if i write it here y of n is equal to b naught w of n plus b1 w of n minus 1 because this is multiplied with this one so w of n multiplied with s square means b2 w of n minus 2 this is shifted two times these two are equation new equation formed now using these two equations i need to construct the direct form too let me show it so uh, so here uh, the same equation this and this equations are same you just read it okay w of n is equal to these two things are taken on the right hand side minus a1 w of n minus 1 if i take this one on the right side minus a2 w of n minus 2 and x of n is all as already it is present this is equations these two are equations same and y of n is equal to same thing w b naught w of n plus b1 w of n minus 1 plus b2 w of n minus 2 you know how to construct this okay so in your textbooks these things these clear explanations are not given so i advise you to please go through it carefully fine so the block diagram would look like you just here what has happened the block diagram has completely changed here in direct form one the shifting operations were appearing separately for x of n and separately for y of n there were four shifters now here only two shifters that's the advantage of going for direct form two so what we are doing here is here we are implementing this equation first you just here you you don't concentrate on this part first you concentrate only this part okay you concentrate only this part now so refer equation this one equation three i can say i, I call it as equation three this i call it as equation four this w of n can be constructed as x of n x of n constant is one so it is one added with it is added with what all things minus a1 w of n minus one so w of n should be shifted this is w of n minus one one more time shifted w of n minus two so w of n minus one should be scalar multiplied with minus a1 that is here w of n minus two should be scalar multiplied by minus a2 that is here so when these two are multiplied it should be summed so some limits minus is already taken care i'll add it added in turn with x of n so it will get me w of n in turn this is what i got so w of n can be got as x of n plus a my these two things some of these two things these two things are past values of w of n like how i explained about past values of y of n in previous case this got implemented using equation 3 
equation 3. Now, this right hand side part should be implemented using equation 4. Equation 4 is already ready. That is what we wrote here. Y of n can be got as sum of three things. What are those? See here. W of n minus 1, W of n minus 2 are already present. Here, W of n minus 1 is already there. W of n minus 2 is already there. Only thing is scalar multiplication are, are supposed to, to be done. So, W of n minus 1 should be multiplied with B1. So, I put a arrow mark, write a B1. W of n minus 2 should be multiplied with B2. Put a arrow mark, write a B2. Add it. So, add it. In turn, it should be added with W of n multiplied with B0. W of n is already got here. So, it's a intermediate value. So, for this, I, add, I multiply B0. I multiply B0. That will result in Y of n. This is direct form 2. This is direct form 2. Very important. Direct form 2 has an advantage because you are using less hardware. In the previous case of uh, what I can say, uh, direct form uh, 1, you had 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 shifters and 1, 2, 3, 4 adders. And in direct form uh, 2, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 adders, but you have only 2 shifters. The number of hardware requirements got reduced. Means the, the design of yours is efficient compared to the direct form 1. Being an engineer, you should always look for efficient hardware design. If the number of hardware components get reduces, your area of the hardware reduces. Miniaturization. Okay, I hope it is clear. We will look into one or two the problem sections, um, the numerical examples that makes you much more clear about this uh, direct form 1 and direct form 2. So, I will be quick here. So, look at here. So, this is the equation given. Now, what we are supposed to do? The input should be represented with x of n and x, x of n minus 1 should be represented with w of n. This is what we need to do. That is it. So, directly, what looking at this equation, I call this as equation 1. Looking at this equation, what we are supposed to do? W of n divided by x of n. x of n will get you what? 1 plus s raised to 1. This is what we call it as h1. That we know. And similarly, w of n, whole of this is, rep is equal to w of n. So, y of n if I take common. So, I write it here. y of n plus 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 is equal to w of n. Right? This is equation 2. So, if I want to get in this manner, so I get as y of n divided by w of n will get me 1 divided by because w of n is taken here on the right hand side, it will go to the denominator. So, 1 plus 1 by 4 s raised to 1 plus 1 by 8 s raised to this I call it as H2. Now, H1 and H2, you know how to do it. So, here I write it. So, X of N is an input. This is H1. This is H2. This is your Y of N. These are the system operators. So, it is W of N. So, intermediate, that is what we need to do with a direct form 1. Now, with this, how to uh, build the direct form 1? x of n to w of n, refer the equation number 1, take x of n input, constant is 1, scalar multiplied with 1, you have to sum it with, sum it with x of n minus 1, that is you have to shift one time, take one shifter, you will get x of n minus 1 and again scalar multiply it with 1 itself. Let me show it here, quickly I will show it, x of n, scalar multiplied by 1, it should be added with so shifted version of x of n, shifted version of x of n, it is also scalar multiplied by 1, this is your summation and this will result in w of n. So, once you get w of n, come to the equation 2. So, in equation 2, so w, y of n is equal to, y of n is equal to w of n, this should be taken on the right hand side, minus 1 by 4 y of n minus 2, minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 1, this is y of n, shift it 2 times shift it two times. This is y of n minus 1, y of n minus 2. So, here y of n minus 2, y of n minus 1, if it is taken on the right hand side, the constant becomes negative. Minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 8. So, these two things should be summed and in turn this should be summed with the w of n. 
this will result y of n so here w of n so y of n is equal to w of n w of n is here minus 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 this is here minus this is taken on the right hand side minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 that is also there this is direct form 1 now direct form 2 very quickly i write it here it is very simple that's why see i i don't write h1 h2 reversing kind of thing i don't write anything simply what i do is two time shifters are there this is a trick i'm telling please listen carefully so write x of n very simple way is there y of n so exactly at center write w of n what is the total number of shifter maximum shifters you need two write two times shifting one time shift you get w of n minus one second time shift you get w of n minus two two time shift so write like this so constants first we will you just take this same as it is you take this same as it is put it on the left hand side take this put it on the right hand side so here what is a constant minus 1 by 4 what is a constant minus 1 by 8 so you have to sum it you have to sum it and in turn this should be so whatever is there same thing you have to sum it but you should be careful about arrow marks so arrow mark should be like this like this that's it this part is done now this part extend extend here there is there is y of n so one time shift there is one time shift already there put it as it is you need one summation one time shift already it is there so constant is one here constant is one just take it and put it that's it so this you don't extend on this side so only this much is the answer uh, this is a shortcut what you are supposed to do is you have to take this part put it on the left hand side take this part put it on the right hand side that will get you the direct form 2 see whole of this term i took it and i placed it on this side whole of this part took it and placed it on the right hand side this will give you direct form 2 so you can either solve by the previous method or else directly you can write it in this manner also so let me show it here above one is direct form 1 below one is direct form 2 so this part has come over here and this part has come over here constants you just check 1 1 1 1 same direction minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8, same direction maximum time of shifter write it the shifting i take it i do it with same hardware so here you should write w of n here you are supposed to write w of n and this becomes w of n minus 1 this becomes w of n minus 2 that's it this we call it as direct form 2 this we call it as direct form 1 that's it simple i hope there are no doubts now I'll take the second uh, one more example uh, to make you much more clear about it. That is uh, y of n plus 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 uh, minus 1 by 3 y of n minus 3 x of n plus 2 of x minus 3. So first thing is you should substitute the right hand side with w of n. So what do you get? You get it as w of n is equal to x of n plus 2 into x of n minus 2 okay next what is left if you to put w of n here y of n plus 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 minus 1 by 3 y of n minus 3 is equal to w of n now here w of n divided by x of n means you get it as 1 plus 2 s square here what do you get y of n divided by w of n we will get it as 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 s yes, it is minus minus 1 by 3 s yes, cube this we represent it as h2 this we represent it as h1 now two times shifting i need to perform just have a check two times shifting we are performing here's the problem so 1 plus 2 s square 1 plus 2 a square so this is 1 plus 2 s yes square yes and yes s yes square it is so you get w of n 
Now similarly, in this case, 1 plus 1 by 2 s minus 1 by 3 s cube. So what you are supposed to do is y of n is equal to or else I'll write it in here itself. I write it here. y of n is equal to you take it on the other side. The whole of this thing we represent it as w of n. So w of n if you take it on the other side minus 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 3 y of n minus 3. This is what you get. Write y of n. Three times shifting you needed because here it is s cube. First time, second time, third time. Here you get y of n minus 1. Here you get y of n minus 3. So y of n minus 1's constant is minus 1 by 2. Write it here. y of n minus 3's constant is plus 1 by 3. Write it here. So this will add it. Add it with w of n. You will get y of n. This is direct form 1. Now direct form 2, very simple. Take this. Put it on this side. Take this, put it on this side. Only thing is, don't repeat the shifter. This shifter, this shifter, job will be done by these two things. You have to take uh, just one more thing here and put it as two. That's it. That does your work. You check it here. Or else I'll show it. I'll show it here itself. Direct form two. I'll show it here itself. First, I write whole of these things as it is. Three times shifter I need. First time. Second time, third time, okay. And constant, everything I'll take it as it is. Here the constant is 1 by 3. Here the constant is minus 1 by 2. Sum it, sum it, and in turn, one more time sum it. Here it is x of n, one more time sum it, okay. So write it as w of n that's it same thing summation summation three shifters summation summation three shifters constant same everything i wrote it here the other way two shifters are already ready just take here write this constant take here write this constant summation is here write summation this is your y of n that's it this is direct form two okay very simple so this is what you are supposed to do for direct form 2. Now, uh, this example, I want you to take it as an assignment. Take it as an assignment. So, you have y of n plus 1 by 2, y of n minus 1, plus 1 by 4, y of n minus 2, x of n minus 1. So, one thing I'll show you, uh, the direct form 1 I'll show you, so just here. This is denoted as w of n, means w of n is equal to just x of n minus 1 or w of n divided by x of n can be written as just yes because you have only this one yes raised to 1 so x of n yes raised to 1 you get uh, you get what i can say w of n here itself and now whole of these things is compared with w of n you need to write y of n so y of n is equal to right hand side is w of n i write it this one shifted on the other side 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 minus 1 by 4 y of n minus 2 so write it. So this is W of n. So constant is 1 here. So y of n shifted by 1 time is here. Shifted by 2 times is here. So minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 4. So take it here. And you know, it's your wish. You can directly write a summation here and then take it here or directly you take it here. That's your wish. But you can prefer any ways. So I prefer this ways. If you write in this fashion, that this would be good. Okay. So, this will generate you direct form 1. Direct form 2, you take it as an assignment. Direct form 2 is an assignment for you. Okay. So, with this, uh, we are concluding today's lecture. Thank you.